What's up, everybody? Okay, welcome back to the Messy Keto Kitchen today. I'm super excited. Dean's with me, as you can see. We just found a place in Vancouver. We live in Vancouver, Washington, so right outside of Portland. And there is a place that allegedly has keto baked goods, baked treats or whatever. So we just finished a workout. We're going to go in and try them, and we will get back to you in just a second. We'll show you what we order, and we'll tell you if it's awesome. This place looks super cute. I love it. It's so adorable. And it's kind of like in a weird spot because everything else around it looks industrial. But yeah, this is super cute. There's like little picnic bench there. This would be cool to come back to and they're like very cute. Yeah. Over here, look at this. It's very cool. Okay, so we just got this. By the way, this place is super duper cute. It is adorable. I can't believe we've never seen it before either. And it's very close to our house. So, um, but we got ourselves some sugar-free mochas, which are just, they're really good. I just had a sip of it. And then they had three different dessert choices. This lady seems to know what she's doing. So a chocolate chip cookie, and that kind of looks very similar to like one of the ones I would make at home. So I'm guessing it's probably gonna be pretty similar. And I forgot to look at the name of whatever this one was. I'm gonna just take a bite and figure it out. But it looks like it has like a shortbread on the bottom, but like chocolate and chunks of like walnuts maybe inside. And then I'm, I should have paid closer attention, but this one looks like it's like chocolate covered peanuts with something else. I don't know, but I'm going to try, and so is Dean. So which one should we try first, Dean? Uh, I'm thinking the cookie. Let's do the cluster. Oh, or, I was gonna go with the cookie because it's probably like the least overpowering. Well, we're gonna get to all of them. Well, I understand that, <laughs> so. So yeah, the, it looks like the texture is pretty good. It, like again, looks very similar to one I would make at home. So not like anything too crazy, but cookie. All right, let's see. Well, wow, that's really good. That was really good. Hmm. I wonder. So it got the texture down just right. And I remember like um, if you change and put like uh, what they're called, the gelatin stuff in there. I can't remember. That's like the key to having like soft, chewy, chocolate chip keto cookies. Otherwise, they tend to come out a little bit firmer, but mm, that one's really good. That was delicious. Yeah. All right, chocolate cluster? Mm hmm I think those are... Mm. Mm. They even had the carb count on these two, which was really good. So I think these ones were like one and a half grams of carbs. Um, it's got the sea salt. Mm. Yeah, oh, those are really good. So it's like a sugar-free chocolate with, am I dumb? Are these really peanuts? They don't taste like it. They taste like maybe a pecan, I don't know. I'm terrible with. Oh, but, these are uh, cashews. Cashew, really? Cashews tend to be a little bit higher in carbs. Oh, that's a cashew. Hmm. Anyway, one and a half grams of carbs, not bad for a little sweet treat. It was really good. Really delicious. Mm -hmm. All right, this honking thing, I'm really curious as to what it is, so. Mm. It's almost like a bar of fudge. Kind of looks like it. Looks like fudge, but with like a shortbread. Mm. Coconut. That's what it is, chocolate coconut. Mm. That's really good. Oh my God, that is so good. <laughs> this one was five grams of carbs, but look at the size of that. For five grams of carbs, I'd be okay with that. That's really good. That lady downstairs is a genius. Oh my gosh, she's so good. I don't even know the name of it. Was it Chandelier Bakery? Mm -hmm. Chandelier Bakery, Vancouver, Washington. Oh my gosh, super good. And it's so nice to find a place that you can actually just stop by and get a treat made for you that is keto. It's going to be in line, but... Also just a super adorable place to hang out. Like I would totally hang out here, so. Well, it's made for you and it's not a prepackaged processed thing. It's well, it doesn't cost this. an arm and a leg. I think for all of this, plus our coffee, how much was it? 20 bucks or something. 20 bucks, yeah. yeah. That's with coffee, of course, so. Anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know that we found a place. Hopefully, more and more places are popping up everywhere. You can see like a lot of places, I, I saw somebody the other day said in their hometown they have a keto bakery too, so. We found a coffee shop that has bulletproof coffee. We did. Uh, in downtown Portland there's a keto, co they have keto coffee so they do like a bulletproof coffee. But it's starting to pop up more places which is very exciting because I remember 15, 20 years ago it was hard to find anything and 
I found keto bread the other day at Costco. I'm sure it's all the rage now, because but they just released it by um, like I think Franz. Beginning, yeah, but it was like the beginning of January. But Franz Baking Company has keto bread available at Costco and several other stores, and it's a game changer. It is super tasty. So I love how far keto is coming and how much people like it's more accessible than ever before. But mm, what a good way to spend an afternoon. We worked out. We're having our treat. Coffee, can't go wrong. Anyway, enough about that. Sorry, I still have chocolate in my mouth. I will see you guys in our next video. Thank you for following.